since I'm technically three or four days into this, I might as well just explain to you guys who don't know what Vlogmas is. Vlogmas is basically where YouTubers take the entire month of December or I guess every single day up until Christmas Day and vlog their life. popular when I was in high school and I think it was the year before I started YouTube I started watching vlogmas stuff it is so so fun how consistently you can see vloggers and youtubers lives that I thought that it was something that I wanted to do as well I did do it in either 2016 or 2017 and that was the last time that I had found time for vlogmas or felt good about my life so I'm obviously in a lot different place than I was three years ago and it was something that I wanted to participate in again. If you guys feel like you're being spammed, I'm so, so sorry. Please just tune in for a little bit of each and every one of my videos. I mean, like, that's every single day. If you guys want to see what I do every single day, cool. If you don't, cool. I'm just putting this out here because it's a fun challenge. Hey, it's Kelly. Now that you have learned a little bit more about Vlogmas, I'm going to switch back to earlier in the morning and tell you guys a little bit about my everyday morning routine. Good morning, my sweet friends. Happy Vlogmas. I believe this is day four. <laughs> I'm going to show you what it's like for my morning routine. We're doing a little voiceover because all you can hear is the dogs smacking and itching themselves and then stretching on me and then itching themselves some more and some more lip smacking. This is how I start my day every single day. Dallas is on the left, he's the little one, and Goose is on the right. If you guys haven't met my dogs before, they like to kiss each other a lot in the morning. And I think it's really funny to mess around with them up until the point where they start itching and licking me and smacking in my face like literally every single day. It's disgusting right away in the morning. So I get up, put some pants on, and then we let them out of the door. I watch them run as fast as they can down the stairs, and then my bladder is about to burst, so I'm going to go to the bathroom before I pee myself, because that would be super, super embarrassing to start the day like that. As always, they're waiting outside the door for me, and I come running down the stairs. Oh, look, we got to itch before we keep running again, and then it's time to go outside. Ugh. It's really snowy where we're at right now, so I have to bundle up in my big ol' winter coat and boots, and then I take both of the doggos out. You can see that little remote in my hand? We use a shock collar to help Goose. Oh, contemplating my life for a second, and then I'm going to disrobe from all of the warm clothing and start to make the dogs breakfast. Goose and Dallas have two different bowls and I'm dropping things. It's just kind of one of those days today, so I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed, but you know what? Just gotta happen. I start off the dog's routine with filling up their water bowls first. Then I'm feeling real groggy this morning, so I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I don't make myself coffee every single day, but today was one of those days, sis. So. I start by taking out Jagger's coffee that he had earlier in the morning and then I put in a fresh K cup and this morning I decided to do a large cup of coffee. I am feeling exhausted after having a week off and visiting family so your girl needs to stay awake. I told Jagger he could get one treat while we're at the grocery store the other day and this was what he chose. It's like a foot long cookie. <laughs> Oh god, he's so cute. Anyway, while we're at the grocery store, we ended up filling up the entire fridge. Thank god we literally had nothing but butter inside the fridge before we left. Um, and I noticed that we did get cookie dough. Jagger had already gotten into it and eaten half of it within a day. That's my husband. Next, I'm going to start getting ready breakfast. So I grab out three eggs for myself and I take one egg and go set it in the dog food bowls and I will prep the dog food with that egg later. Then I can get some coffee creamer out and some butter, and then I always need cheese every single morning. Gotta start my toast. Today we're using sourdough. I love sourdough bread, you guys. It's so, so good. Um, I'm gonna leave that in the toaster for now and put the bread away and start to melt some butter in the pan. This was actually super soothing to me uh, when I was editing this to watch myself stir around the butter. So I'm just gonna let this butter clip be a little bit longer for you guys. Hope you don't care. It's not even butter. What is country crock? Like oil? Nasty. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna fill up the creamer inside my coffee. I definitely did too much creamer. It was mostly creamer. 
did not taste that good, was super cold by the time I started drinking it too. Not my favorite creamer. I'm just not a huge fan of cinnamon. Anywho, start cracking the eggs. I'm using one hand today, if you can notice. Typically, I'm really good at this, but I actually was finding it really difficult that I had a camera in one hand and had to crack the eggs with the other hand. Um, I thought that I got a shell in there and then I looked around and then there was no shell But then when I was eating the eggs there definitely was like a little tiny shell that I got in there So I'm a little bit disappointed at my egg cracking skills I hate it hate it hate it when I get shells inside my eggs It like ruins the rest of my eggs for me, especially if it's like in the last bite. Oh my gosh Going to season my eggs with a little bit of salt and then I go in with some pepper This is gonna be kind of weird. I don't know if you guys do this with any of your eggs at home, but I actually I actually use this uh, powdered ranch seasoning that's made for popcorn. Did a little bit too much in my eggs today, but oh well. I find this so, so good. I don't know what my problem is, but it's been my literal addiction for a year putting this ranch seasoning inside my eggs. Next, I'm going to start working on my toast while my eggs are cooking on the stove. Move my potatoes out of the way. I don't know why they're just chilling on the counter. Then I end up adding some cheese inside my eggs. I love real cheesy scrambled eggs, sis. Next, dog food. So typically for dog food, this is a two-third cup scoop. I do two of those for goose. And then for Dallas, Dallas is really, really weird when it comes to food and to eating. I don't know why I filled up the two-third cup so full because he wasn't going to eat any of that. I make like a little crescent moon inside of his food, like maybe a little over half of his bowl. Oh, hi Goose. And then for the food, I'm actually going to end up cracking an egg for both the doggos. I separate the white into Goose's food because he got more of the food food. And then I separate the yolk into Dallas's food. Um, the yolk is going to give Dallas a little bit more protein because he's so, so bad about actually eating his dog food, especially in the morning and especially for me. He'll eat his food when it's with Jagger, but he won't eat it when it's with me alone. It drives me crazy. Goose is a really good boy. He goes and sits down before I tell him he could have his breakfast. Dallas, Dallas is old. He, he doesn't know any better. <laughs> And then I tell them to wait and then I say okay and then they'll go for the food. Now that their food is done, I get to eat my breakfast. Miraculously, my toast and my eggs are all plated and ready to go. Sit down at my table with my coffee and watch some Grey's Anatomy. So obviously I finished breakfast. I've been sitting in bed for probably the last maybe a little bit under an hour. I didn't film while I was getting ready because I was just so so needing alone time that's what i like my mornings for is i like to have my alone time so as soon as i sat down to eat my breakfast i watched Grey's anatomy and then i immediately came upstairs and got my face ready for the day did not do my hair obviously it's still in my pajamas on my computer finishing up day two vlog i've been creating my intro and my outro for my vlogmas finally I took a couple minutes just to finish that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So you guys would have seen my intro at the beginning of it, this video and then you'll see my outro at the end. I was super duper inspired by Cami Carter because she, all she literally did was like cut herself out of a picture and do like a little hat and then some like snowy effects and stuff. So I kind of did the same thing using Fonto. I'm sure plenty of you are interested in starting a YouTube channel. I've gotten so many questions about it. I get maybe a question every month or two about someone who's wanting to start a channel. And it's so funny because I was just starting my series on how to become a YouTuber and then the holidays happened and vlogmas happened so hopefully i can put in a little bit of stuff here and there for you guys on how to start your own youtube but fonto is my favorite favorite app for creating my thumbnails and also creating other graphics that my channel needs so now that i'm done with my outro and intro i am going to edit vlog day three which is technically today should have pre-filmed for this cami carter was talking about how she pre-filmed for vlogmas and i was like you cheater but i was like that's also so so smart so then you have all of your filming done beforehand one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to do vlogmas was it's really really uncomfortable for people to be filmed and I noticed this with a lot of my friends and a lot of my family they don't know how to 
act around a camera, they just kind of get a little bit funky. And so, so Vlogmas pushes me to be myself on camera and helps my family members understand what it's like for me to be in front of a camera so constantly. And if you think I'm wrong, if you think it's super duper easy to be in front of a camera and talk to a camera for your entire day, I challenge you to check in with your camera every hour for a full entire day and tell the camera what you're doing. <laughs> Vlogging is hard and talking to a camera is hard. Anywho, I am going to try finishing editing something within the next hour and then I have to get ready and go to work. On my way out of the house for work, but I had to get my dinner. I made hoba dinners last night. That's in my last or one of my last vlogs if you guys wanna go take a look at that. Jagger has his cute little cookie here and he's been only eating the areas with lots of frosting. So I'm just gonna take this little chunk right in here with like no frosting on it. Hopefully he enjoys that and finds it very gracious of me to not steal his frosting. I love you Jagger, thank you so much for the cookie. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's Vlogmas. As you guys know, I love each and absolutely every single one of you. Please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, and stick around. I will see you guys in my next one.